Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in the previous video when I showed you how to set up Linux for development, that was on general, so you can set up your uh, Fedora or any Linux for development, installing the base uh, application. I had some uh, comments that uh, they don't like to use Docker for development, and on that comment someone used the valid Linux for Laravel specifically. Okay, and in this video I'm going to show you what I have installed and in my machine to develop Laravel projects. Okay, so if you go to Laravel documentation, uh, creating a Laravel project, so before creating your first Laravel application, make sure that your local machine has PHP, Composer, and the Laravel installer installed, which this is not needed, but okay. In addition, you should install also either Node and npm or ban okay you can install with this uh, command bash command for the php new or in my case i have installed through the fedora dnf so sudo dnf install the php and also php extensions we need for laravel now this is only what i i'm going to show you what i have installed if you want how to install and set up step by step uh, Linux for Laravel development, a comment on this uh, YouTube video and I'm going to create another video to set up from scratch uh, Linux for Laravel development. Okay, so what you need is to uh, install PHP and Composer. I have installed through the DNF, but you can install also through PHP new here with this command. Next, we need also Node, and for Node, I have chosen to install the Node.js through the this Node version manager. So if you go and search for NVM, go to this NVM dash sh slash NVM, and you can go to installation and updating, run this command, and you need to make sure that the uh, source the SHRC or bashrc when you install this and then say nvm install to install the latest you will read more here but yeah run nvm install to install the latest uh, version okay next thing is to install this laravel valid package uh, if you go here we have requirements so you need to install some packages and let me just zoom it out so for Ubuntu we check this one for the Fedora in my case we need to install all the packages here and also the PHP extensions as you can see now in my case here are not all the extensions you need to install also search on the github or uh, chatgpt what extensions you need for Laravel because are more than only what we have here. First, you need to install also the PDO extension because if you, if you don't install, you are going to have error. And uh, yeah, if you have installed them one by one or all together, you need, if you are on the Fedora, you need to say sudo set enforce to zero or change that permanently. And that's it. Next, if you go up here and go to installation here is how you can install composer global require and the package then on the bash rc or shrc add this one and just source and then you can say the valid installed now in fedora you are going to have error if you say valid install let me just open uh, this when you search for the on github and here we have if you if we open the github we have some issues here okay and i'm going to zoom it yeah we have uh, issues of php fatal error uh yeah not working on fedora 41 okay right now we have 43 but anyway here we have the an example that is not going to work in the fedora is going to show the error PHP 8.4-FPM. 
this area so dnf was unable to install uh, this php 8.4 fpm and here is the solution okay so you go to this directory and change the in the package manager we have this dnf.php file just change from this one to this one so just change the version 8.8.4 here we have 8.3 change that to 8.4 and it's going to work if you work only with fedora okay not with others and that is if that is okay you run valid install and you are okay now with this you can uh, switch php version isolate php version uh, serving sites so yeah go to directory in my case i have this code directory and then say valid park also you say valid links valid link and uh, securing the site in my case i have secured the site i'm going to show you in the second but this is valid secure and the name of the project so in this case is exam example or unsecure example again okay and uh, more things you can do with this is also using databases so valid db list and create database and so on next thing i'm going to show you i have installed table plus so you can install this also for linux if you go to table plus download we have linux and you can choose ubuntu ubuntu arm or in my case is fedora which is here dnf and i'm going to choose i have this arm so just install through this command next i have download also z on the linux so you can go to download here and you have for mac os and windows but also you have for linux by running this command and that's it this is now the project as you can see we have a secure example.test and if i see here alas yeah this is example okay so if i say valid unsecure example app i'm going to add the password and now if i come here refresh yeah we are now let's go back and say yeah, accept and now we have http example not https if we want to secure we just say secure instead of unsecure and now let's go and refresh and accept the risk and yeah here is the secured version of uh, laravel now that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you only because i had a comment on youtube or from someone who works with this valid linux plus and i wanted to try and works okay but as i told you there on the github repository are some issues okay friends that's it all about now if you like such videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and share with your friends thank you very much